And this is why we're going to get in a walk today. This is the third wave of this that's come in. I got up this morning. Can't tell it by looking now, but it was pouring rain. You can already hear the thunder. Pretty cool looking cloud, but there's a big storm coming this way. No walk today. Well, we got our walk in this morning. The low off the coast seems to be weakening. So now we're on the third oil burn off on the griddle to season it. You're just supposed to light it after you coat everything down with olive oil. Well, I'm using olive oil. You can use any kind of oil, lard, whatever. And let it cook till the smokes off, burns off. And that seasons it. What you end up with is those brown spots where the oil's cooked into it. I did notice that I put the shelf in backwards. All the directions are upside down. And the other thing I noticed is with all the rain we had yesterday, the only place for this to drain is right there. And it's uphill, so that was full of water this morning. So I'm going to have to turn it around and put it over here. So the, uh, another interesting note, I saved the frog. Sitting there trying to figure out if the burners are lit because you can't really see in there unless you look up from the end, look up underneath. And I kept seeing this thing poking its head out in there. There was a frog inside the grease drip thing. So I took him out and dropped him on the floor and he hopped off so I think we saved him. And there was a lizard in there too. Hmm. Critters are going to have to learn not to get in there. So that's starting to turn brown there, probably another 5-10 minutes and then I can turn it off and let it cool down. Those lids do not keep the water out. That's a little disappointing, but that steel will rust if it's not, you don't keep it coated with oil. And I don't know what else to do with it because it has to stay inside. I don't have any place inside to put it. I wouldn't put it inside anyways. So tonight we're going to cook on it for the very first time. Okay, short video today. Nothing unusual on the creek except that there were lots of people down there today. Lots of bikes and lots of pedestrians and lots of puppy dogs. And we had to keep stopping and moving over to the side to let the bikes go by. And there you have it. It is a very nice, warm, and extremely muggy day out here today. I just cut the grass three or four days ago and it already needs cutting again. I guess this next week I'll take this thing apart and take it over to the metal recycling place. Let them crunch it up. So, not that hard. Although, I things I don't like about it so far is that water gets inside even with the lids closed and you can't see the, whether the burners are lit or it's very difficult to see if the burners are lit so I can fix the shelf all I gotta do is brace the wheels so they don't collapse on me and take it off and turn it around so I can read the directions I threw the book away by accident so that's the only instructions I got for lighting it although it's not hard push the thing in and turn it till it clicks okay y'all have a great day I'm gonna finish burning up this oil and then I'm gonna go sit in the air conditioning literally an hour away from trying the griddle I heard the thunder saw the weather statements now we got this probably be about 40 minutes of rain I managed to get that tarp on just as it started to rain. I'm going to go buy a cover for it tomorrow at uh, the store. I got a cover that's made to fit that particular griddle, so I'll get that. Because what I found out yesterday was the lids on those things doesn't keep the water out of the griddle itself, which is bad since it's steel. So I'll get the cover, but that'll protect it. 
<laughs> I'm gonna close the door. It's still lightning and stuff out here. And it's gonna rain like this for a half hour. I thought it was raining hard before, just as I got ready to start filming, we had a huge lightning bolt. Ruby, you can't go out there. You'll be a wet damn dog. Yeah. You keep the one to go around and go ahead. Go on and get out there. You need a bath anyways. It is really raining. It should end here in another half hour or so. Poor old Trevor getting a bath. Filming through my dirty window. Man, is it coming down. Yeah, I guess we're in the season of mow the jungle down, mow it down, mow it down, mow it down. All this rain, this grass is going to grow like crazy. Well, we still haven't cooked on the thing. Spent about an hour and a half yesterday seasoning it. And you have to put oil on it, smoke it off, let it cool down, put more oil on it, smoke it off, cool it down. And about the time I was going to start cooking last night, those things popped up and it rained like we were in a jungle somewhere. So I had to throw this tarp, which I used to cover just about everything from when I had the boat out here and was working on it. To last night I used it to cover that up because one of the things I discovered is that with no drain holes in the griddle part and the lids don't keep the water out when it's raining hard and the grill's made out of steel, so it'll rust. So, back to Lowe's, another $35 for a custom-made cover. And when they say it's made specifically for the Blue Rhino Razor, that's what they mean. It even has the little cutouts here for the, for the handles. And it has a couple of buckles on the bottom even big enough to go over the propane tank keep that dry so one thing I can tell you is that yesterday when I started to season it I had a frog that had climbed up into the into the grease bucket that fits in there and when I saw him wiggling around after the grill had started heating up I managed to take out the grill cup and I dropped him on the deck right there and he hopped off and I don't see any dead frogs so I guess he made it it was also one of them little green lizards they're not chameleons but they're they change colors like chameleons and so anyways there it is custom cover for the thing we didn't go we didn't go walking today we're gonna try and get in a walk in the morning I'm not filming on walking because I've filmed pretty much everything there is to see down there yeah. um, I had a brain fart just then Look at that. I cut all them vines and they are still coming up and growing. Oh well. Get back out here with the trimmers and trim some more. One of the things I did while I was at Lowe's is I bought a couple of lights for when I'm filming in the house. There's Ruby with light on her. And there's Ruby. This is just one light. That's Ruby with light off of her. That's the other one. That one's actually more powerful. The one I just turned off is 10,000 lumens or 1,000 lumens and that one's 2,500 lumens. Another thing I got because I thought about building one was this little doohickey right here. Now what is that you say? Well, I'll be, look at this, you can see my arm while I turn the screen around. What is that you say? Well, that is a frame so that I can hang some green screen on it. 
thought about building it out of PVC, but I found that in the housewares department. It has metal and has casters on it, and it was only $14, $15. So, actually, one pre made that's uh, cheaper than I could have bought the PVC for. So, I went ahead and got that too. Now, I'll put some green screen on a board and hang it from the top and we'll start playing with this camera inside because literally I am just 10 minutes outside filming that little bit on the thing and I am dripping with sweat so all right that's it for today this is day four on this video I didn't film any yesterday when we went out walking uh, we didn't go the day before we didn't go, it's just been, we've been in this weather pattern where the low's gone, but now the we're into the afternoon shower stuff, and by 10 o'clock in the morning, which is what time I got back, it was already above 80 degrees and the humidity's way up, so walking any distance in the sunlight is not fun, so we didn't go. I can do it, but as you all know, Ruby has a big fur coat. So, that's it. I'm going to end this little clip for today. We're not doing anything else. I'll work on the green screen stuff, but we're going to stay inside the air conditioning. And it's supposed to storm this. Start storming. Well, I expect it any time next couple hours. Yesterday when I was going to go cook, literally 30 minutes as I was getting everything ready. The sky opened up and it was thunder boomer and lightning. We had a couple lightning cracks right close by. It scared me and the dog. Um, needless to say, it rained till well past 8 o'clock and then it rained a good portion of last night. So I didn't get any cooking out on the grill. We did yesterday's dinner on, on the stove like normally. And probably going to end up doing the same thing tonight. So, okay. Uh, I'm always backwards with the way I point this. There. You can see I'm glistening. I'm just sitting in here. And I'm already in the air conditioning where it's not hot. And I'm still sweating. Okay, bye. So here's another daily segment. Me and this one got in a nice two-mile walk this morning. And just as we were heading back to Trevor, the raindrop started. As you can see, it's... Nice and gloomy and overcast. It's raining like hell down by the coast, but it's not raining here. Anyways, earlier today, lunchtime, just a little before lunchtime, I was sitting out here on the deck. Had Wagglebutt and little baby puppy and Logan over there at the fence, and I was having a conversation with them and Ruby, which is what you do while you talk to the dogs. And I noticed a dark spot on the brick. And I thought, what the heck is that? There's gutters up there, that shouldn't be all mildewy like that. So I went over and put my hand on it and it was wet. And I thought, oh no, where could water be coming from? And I thought, ah, inside that wall is the laundry room. It's starting to sprinkle right now. I'm going inside, but I'll show you what I discovered. So we walk inside into the dark, dark, laundry room and if I can shine another light back there so you can see there well you're not going to be able to see it but the floor down there was a little bit damp and the wall back there right over there has got some mold growing on it and see the hot water pipes go into the wall that's and the water main water pipe from outside the house comes through the slab and comes up through this wall and goes up there feeds the hot water heater and then goes back down here and comes down to the washer and dryer so somewhere in that wall there's a leak so I'm sitting around thinking well crap that means I got a take the dryer and the washer out and cut a hole in the wall and 
figure out where the leak's at, go to the home store and buy a propane torch and some solder and a pipe cutter and oh, just thinking about all the stuff I had to do to find the leak and fix it. And then I remembered the last time I had a plumbing issue, I bought insurance for the plumbing in this house. So my $12 a month is paying off. Uh, on Thursday morning, I've got plumbers coming <laughs> and I don't have to pay for it. <laughs> well, I don't have to pay for it all at once. It's paid for over time. So hopefully by Thursday afternoon, whatever's causing all that water to come through the wall will go away. So that's today's events. At least we got in a nice walk. And it's nice and cool. Although it's muggy, it's nice and cool out. I've got the door open, the windows open. Air the house out some. Tomorrow, let's go downtown to the hospital for doctor's appointments. So that's always fun. Driving the heavy traffic to get down there and attempt to find a parking spot. And you usually have to go away early in case you run into traffic accidents or something like that. And or you need extra time to find a parking spot. And then you sit around and wait until your appointment. Hey, look at this. I should turn on my... Uh, this is how dark this is. I'll turn this on. And... Where's my switch? Oh, there it is. And ta-da! It's not dark anymore. I like these little lights. I did pull out the green screen material. Sorry for it getting dark in here. My spare storeroom. There's the green material. And as it turns out, the about a yard wide and 20 yards long so I have to figure out how to hang it and whether I'm going to sew it or tape it or whatever but that'll be my green screen I'll just drape it down off of that I just didn't get around to it today because the plumbing issue took the forefront plus I had to go and I guess I could turn this around. The plumbing issue took forefront because right now the water to the house is turned off. I figure it's actually dried up that wall outside and the, the floor. It's not a full blown leak. It's not like it's gushing out water, but it's seeping and you can actually hear the, the water. There's like the only thing I can figure is that it's been doing it for a while and I just now noticed it. The that wall is an outside wall and maybe something happened to the pipe back in January when we had that severe cold snap. Although when it's really cold like that, I leave the door to the laundry room open so that it gets heat from the house. And there's a an inch crack under the bottom of the door so it's never isolated. But anyway... Fun and games, fun and games. I can turn the water on, but I don't want to leave it running. And so if I need to, I'll turn it on tomorrow, take a shower, and turn it off before I go, go downtown. So that's today's update. And I've already, these are just little clips, a couple of clips from each day. I'll just put the whole week together, I guess, once the plumbing's done, then I'll put the whole thing together and just make one video of a whole week's worth of what's going on. It was nice to be able to get out and walk today. Just as we were about the mile and a half mark, I started feeling raindrops. So we turned around and headed back to Trevor. It didn't actually rain on us. It's really raining hard down by the coast, lightning and thunder and stuff like that. But it's not around here today. It's just muggy, 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 muggy. Okay. That's the uh, end of the video clips for today, and now you're caught up on the, the silliness that comes from being a homeowner.